Yo, yo, everybody. Welcome to week eight of Super Smash Brothers Crew Battles. Today we're going up against Fisher Fisher College. We're facing off against their Tony crew. Um, they have yet to get a loss this season. Um, we got our we're coming up hot off our first win last week. Close game, game three. We we're able to close it out. Um, really good match against I believe New England College. So this week we're feeling good. We got a lot of practice in earlier today, but you know. We're going to see how it goes. I believe we're facing... I was looking at the characters earlier, talking about it with everybody. There's a Palutena, uh, Pac-Man. We're going to be dealing with a Rob, it seems like. I believe there's a Ness and a Lucas lingering around. And then I think their other crew at Fisher College, I believe they have two. And I believe their other crew is... Uh, Ike, Falco, Pokemon trainer. But got to watch out for those as well. I'm not sure how their substitute situation works. So it really could be, could end up facing them here today. Who knows? We'll see. Looks like they agreed on small battlefield. Bird jumping in. We got Zach leading us off. Shark bait with the Bowser. Big King Bowser as per usual. And we'll see how this goes. We're not, we don't have Slade this week. We might get him, uh, might show up later. We'll see what happens. Um, but we're going to just be jumping right into game one here in a second. Small battlefield, Bowser versus whoever Bird is deciding to play. Correction, looks like they're going to Smashville. And there is the Pac-Man. Okay. So this will be interesting. I know Zach was discussing how a lot of the characters we're going to be facing off today aren't quite the best matchups for Bowser. We feel kind of similarly as an entire group that some of these matchups are tough. Since Pac-Man's going to do his best to space him out, Zach's just got to play patient, not force an approach, not get hit by this spaceship. Ooh, it's an F-tilt. Uppy kind of hitting. That gets the Hydrant away. Orange coming in. Good fair. Looking for something off stage there. We're not quite able to get a good Uppy. Up airs. Oh, no. That's really unfortunate. Up airs the Hydrant. Fast fell past ledge. Loses a stock due to it. Let's see what happens. He's got a good 76% now on the Pac-Man, though. Good spot dodge, up tilt. Ooh, and that backer's going to take out the Pac-Man. Even game. Definitely a shame to lose that stock like that, but you never know. Good up B. Mmm. Trading on the Hydrant there. He actually, the hydrant pushed him out of the way. Oh, the up smash through the hydrant. <laughs> Taking out the Pac-Man. Very nice. And Zach is now up a stock. That grab is going to be unfortunate, but he recovers high. Good option. Missing that back air. Pac-Man's tiny body. And this is what I was talking about. I gotta be careful on your approach. These down airs are not quite the way to do that. That'll be either. 
Good air dodge on that. Oh, not quite able to punish the grab. It's a tough grab to punish. Ooh. Ooh, Bell. Doesn't get the kill, though. Okay. Mmm, the get-up attack timed perfectly on that. These down airs are dangerous. That up, he's not going to do it. Up smash will take it. Okay, even game. Even game so far. Fire your breath up there is going to be tough. The up tilt, buddy, so I'd be there. Like having a lot more trouble landing aerials now. The Pac-Man's definitely spacing them out a bit better. I feel like some of the attacks options are getting a little careless. Ooh. Like these down airs. Up out of shield is not going to work forever either. Watch the bell. Good shield. Yeah, but the space out smash attack is going to close it out. Close game, though. Able to take two stocks. We like to see that. Fisher College up by one stock currently. Let me update the score. And then I believe Zach is going to come in and jump on commentary. Let's see what happens. No, I know the hydrant, dude. It was just like I was like, oh my god. I know you were playing really good that second stock though, even after MD. Yeah, that that was frustrating. That was that was disheartening. I'm sure. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, all right. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, we're gonna have Hunter filling in after me. So you know that's cool. Um, what is up to that one viewer? How are we doing today? Okay, I have returned. We're going to be seeing Battaloos, the Incineroar, going in against the uh, the Pac-Man. Talking about different stages, too, <laughs> to pick. <coughs> going Hollow Bastion? Yeah, looks like they're going Hollow Bastion. All right, so this Pac-Man's going to SD twice. 3v1 stock-wise. Let's see what Battaloos can do. Very efficient SD method. It's funny. All right. And now we are in to match two. 
Battleu's gonna see what he can do against this Pac-Man. Watch out for Hydrant. Ooh, just barely missing a back guy there. Good side B. Hitting him with the dash attack. For a second there, was able to get him on ledge. Going for the down B there, gets grabbed. Gotta be careful for those. Ooh, missing the grab. Ooh, the bell gonna hit him up there. Right, he's got him off stage. Pac-Man's recovery's quite good. And he's good off ledge. Hmm, that's gonna hurt. I think he can still get back. Oh, just barely. I think he might have been able to get back, but that's a tough angle for sure. Ooh, the weight on the down B. Yeah, he felt that coming. And this is the kind of... I was talking a little bit earlier about how Pac-Man's going to want to try to bait your approaches and then punish you for them. I feel like that's kind of what's happening a little bit here is that the projectiles plus Hydrant are kind of forcing Battaloos. Oh, oh, that would have been really clean. I'm kind of forcing Battaloos to approach in a way that the Pac-Man wants. He's covering a lot of approach angles. All right, able to get back and not hit by the Hydrant. The down smash is going to take it. Dodging the orange. Yeah, like right there, going high. Although he gets it this time. Gotta be careful. Yeah, he spaces that out. Oh, and the uppy. No. Then he smash attacks on the platform. Come on, let's see if Battaloos can close out this stock. Jumps into that, into the bell. Not gonna be able to do it. I'm going for the side B. Yeah, there's some Pac Man combos for you. Good side B. Or down B, I mean. See if he's able to get anything off it. Goes for the neutral B, not able to get it. I believe he's going to lose his revenge here, yeah. Going for the side Bs over and over. And the air dodges on the up B. Hits by Hydrant. Good timing on the get up for the Hydrant water. Hit by the orange is unfortunate. And gets hit by that smash attack. That's unfortunate. And Fisher College is going to go up. Three stock lead. I'm going to go in there and see what's up. All right, we're going to be seeing Ty on the Little Mac. Try to see what he can do against this Pac-Man. And then we got Tyler, Dragon Rider, in the building. Wasn't able to make it to the last few matches. He'll be jumping in after Ty. Best of luck to Ty. He can do this. He can take this stock. Just got to play patient, not let the, the projectiles and the hydrant overwhelm. Careful with the approach. Pac-Man can't do anything from far away. He can throw the projectiles. He can put the hydrant down and kind of pressure you. But he wants you. The Pac-Man wants you to jump over the hydrant, dodge the projectile, and then he's right where you want. Or then you're right where he wants you, where they want you. All right, and they're jumping into it. Let's see what Ty can do. I think he can take this stock, taking him to FD. He's probably very happy about that. He's been wanting to do that for a while now. There we go. Pac-Man off stage early. Got him in the corner. Gives him the space. 
I like that. Punishing the grab attempt on the hydrant. <gasps> oh, that could have been a punish. I don't think he expected the wall jump there. The timing would have been hard. See, like right there, he wants you to jump over the hydrant and approach, and that's kind of what he was spaced for. And he was able to get it in the KO punch. Let's go. Love to see that. Love to see that. That's all we need. Back into it. Bird jumping out. Going to be replaced with their next player, I would assume. Down a player, but not out for sure. Relatively even as all as things go. And here comes Tony. I believe this is the Ness. Now, we were talking about this earlier. The uh, Ness yo-yo on ledge is going to be a pretty tough one. A pretty tough one to play around for Little Mac. Um, as is PK Fire. Definitely a tough matchup. But I think Ty got this. I like the way he's playing against the Pac-Man. <laughs> Golden Plains. Small battlefield. Ready? Yeah, there's the Ness. That's kind of what I thought we were going to see. All right, even game. Three stocks, three stocks. Let's see what Ty can do. Ooh, get PK fired. Classic. I like his spacing. Kind of got him in the corner. That up tilt's tough. Ooh, that PK fire's really tough. <laughs> Let's go for the down air spike on that. I respect it. The back air? <laughs> A little back. Got this KO punch. I wonder if he could have just ripped it out of shield. Not there. I like the idea with the up tilts there, but the Ness able to just kind of easily... Yeah, there's Yo-Yo. Ness kind of able to just easily dodge it there. Yeah, and able to go off stage. That's another big thing with Ness is that they're going to be able to just go off stage against Little Mac. So the second he's off stage, kind of done though. These PK fire chains, tough. Giving him the space on the ledge though. Luckily not going for the Yo-Yo shenanigans. Gotta catch this kid. Nice jab. Oh, I think he predicted the roll there in a way, but just a little late on the punish. We'll blame online for that. Got the nest in the corner, but the nest was kind of baiting him out into the corner, it feels like, right there. And that's going to do it for that suck, yeah. I think the nest was just waiting by ledge, hoping to force a little Mac approach, and then did. Um, and then was able to just quickly get a reversal, get him off stage, quick gimp. Try to hold center stage in those types of positions. The jab lock and the PK fire. This will be scary. Yeah, that'll cover ledge. And they're going to go up. Nine. We got one player left. Dragon Rider. I believe he's going to be going Corrin. We'll see how that goes. That could be... Be exciting. 
A little bit of corn representation here. Here, we're representing the mid-tiers here at Potsdam. Mid and low tiers. We got them, we got them unlocked. Terry, I lied. He's going Terry. That's hype. Take him to the Terry DLC stage. Take him to the ring. PS2. Respectable. Respectable. Ready? Let's see what Tyler's Terry can do against this Ness. Tyler's Terry versus Tony. Tyler, Terry, Tony. Now, clearly, this nest is kind of filthy. So, gotta watch out for some good old nest combos. Get the eye out of the PK fire. Oof. Caught with it off stage is brutal. Drag down up there on platform. Mmm, I like the patience and shield. Ah, oh, that's gonna kill. Right at go mode? Oh, that hurts. Yeah, there's those strings. Let's see. Go mode, coming in. Oh no! Ah, oh, that's a tough way to lose this dog. Another go mode gone. Tragic. I can play in center here. Oh, just barely out of the range. That's so tragic, actually. That's such a good idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Wait, he gets back. No, he doesn't get back. Oh, oh that hurts. And Fisher College is going to take game one. All right, I'm going to go see how we're feeling for game two. Because I definitely want to get a game in. See what happens. But Fisher College going up 1-0.
All right, we've got Slade in the building. Love to hear that. Looks like I think we're sending Battaloos in against the Ness this time. He feels more confident in the Ness than the uh, the Pac-Man. Hopefully, can see a little bit of a a different game this time. Okay, they're going PS2. Battaloos on Incineroar. The tried and true. Versus Ness. Tony, the Ness. Let's see how this shakes out. Good down B. Oh, oh. He gets the down B on the PK fire, but is not able to get much off of it. Gets his side B off, though. Good neutral B. Nice. Going for the... Oh, uh-oh. Nice high up B. Dodging the yo-yo. That's good. I like the spacing a lot there. Gets a couple chip damage on the PK fire. Oh, Ooh, okay. Careful. I really want him to get this. Okay, well, he gets a hit. Oh, the dash attack. Uh, it's not going to kill. Incineroar is heavy. I like the high up B again. Going to have to be careful on doing those. He'll definitely start reading them. Neutral B, outspaced. And yeah, that's going to take him out. Okay, okay. Even game, even game. He can come back from this pretty easily. Oof. Oh, that, okay, good neutral B. That hurts. Dropping in with a forward air. Scary off stage here. PK fire chains are brutal. Whoa, that didn't hit? Word. Yeah, getting caught in those PK fires is just like miserable. Mmm. Falls low. He's doing the same thing. He's doing the same thing he did against Ty, where he stands over on ledge trying to bait an approach option here and then trying to get some sort of nest shenanigans off stage PK fire. He gives up the ledge, though. Back to neutral. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the side beat in the PK fire. One of the most incinerable things I've ever seen. Killed though. We got a stock. Yeah, there's yo yo. Ugh. And that's gonna take it. Yeah. Alright, we got a we, we got a stock. We got a stock. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm assuming that's Slade jumping in. Rapid fire connecting his controller before the match is even over. Choose your fighter. Yeah. Slade in the building with the Falco. Okay, okay. Let's see how this goes. Clearly, this Ness knows what he's doing. But Slade will have a stock advantage. That's key. That'll be big. Heading to Peach's castle.
It looks like they're going small battlefield. Got Slade on Falco. Okay, and into game two we go. Tony's going to drop a stock here, and then we'll be at it. Three, two, see if Slade remembers. One, he does. Hands off my and into it we go. Gets his drag downs that he's looking for. That magnet type move is brutal though. Good laser. Yeah, these chains are gonna be a little tough. Gets back though. No yo-yo shenanigans this time. Oh, that yeah, that disjoint. That's something that I, as a Yoshi player, always struggle with when facing Ness is that their aerials have disjoints and it makes it so tough to clash in the air. Ooh, good roll spacing. For the down air. I wonder if back air would have been better there. And then Ness is gonna take the first stock. Solid 50% though. Up air time. Ooh, going for the forward air. I don't know if he meant to do that. I think that was a back air. Oof. And those PK fires are brutal. Sending them low. Yo-Yo's going to make this hard. And he's down. Let's go, Slade. Get up air. The dash attack coming in. Not quite able to punish the air dodge. Gets hit with the fair on landing. Good dash attack. Caught in the PK fire. Mmm. Space to back air for the neutral get up. That nair's tough. Be careful. Oh. Good tech. Really wants this kill here. No, okay, just slightly misspaced the yo-yo. That's huge. Gotta play really safe. Good parry. Oh, no grab or anything. I don't think it would have reached, to be fair. Dangerous upbeat situation. Yo-yo. Oh, and there, dodge down. I don't think he gets back from that. No. Fisher College going up. Another three. Let's see what's going on in there. All right, we got shark bait Zach in the building with the big Bowser. Okay, we are into it on Smashville. Tony drops his stock. Zach running on in. 
Solid up beam with the nest air dodges out of it. Gets it that time. Gets the back air off. Got the nest on ledge. Goes for the down B, and that's gonna cost him the stock. Unfortunate. Waiting out instead of jumping up for the forward air. I like that. Not quite able to get the bear, but parries the PK fire. Very cool. Very nice. Forward air time. Yeah, and that yo-yo is going to be pretty... Okay, okay. He gets back. He gets back. Ah, back air is tough. What up, Slade? And that yo-yo is going to do it that time. All right, I'm trading out with Slade. Not looking great. <laughs> Not looking great. For uh, the old pot stand bears here. Yeah, you can get one. You can get one. Ness is light. Yeah. I should have gotten one. Easy. Or just, like, beat him, you know? Could just do that. Uh oh. Oh man. It's not looking pretty. All right. So we're down to our last player here. Um. Yeah. Might just be a uh, quick loss for the Bears here. Uh, I believe we have Colin going in next. And. Uh, I'm really just hoping to beat their uh their first player here. That would be that would be pretty cool, pretty good. Pretty sweet. And there's our boy, the tennis ball Yoshi. Figuring out stages here. Um, pretty worrisome that we can't take this guy down. Um, definitely, like, good nest player, but, you know. One that between our last two players, we should be able to take. <laughs> we should be able to take out. Um, very disappointing. But good combos, good gameplay. Um, yeah, seems to just be a pretty competent player here. I definitely like to see the rest of their team. Um, I, don't know. I would definitely also like to. Uh, Wish I could have gone here for game one. Might have been able to sweat the rust a little bit. Here we go, hopping in. Colin facing down all of Fisher College. Going back to Smashville. Stage I know Colin likes. You wish you can get some pretty early kills here. And he can just hop around the stage so well. Nice. We'll start this off quick with a nice down air. 
getting up to 30%. Alright, and calling off to a pretty quick start to this first stock. To a hundred on him. Oh. She's getting a little antsy there. Probably needs to just wait out the uh the nest a little bit. And the stock's even now. Um you know. Colin definitely wants to hold on to as many as he can here because he's got quite a few players to get through after this. Assuming he takes it. And this nest, yeah, hunting for those aerials, and that's going to take the takes the first stock of the game. Colin's just looking for the kill here. And there's the F smash, going to take it. They actually almost didn't kill. It's probably a Smashville difference. Uh, Yoshi having the the boon of being able to uh, get out of combos with that armor jump misses the punish on that up B. And able to make it back. Down air punish. Nice 25. Um... Also probably able to avoid a lot of what Ness wants to do on ledge, particularly holding smash attacks. Um, but still not being able to make it back cleanly without taking some percent. Ah, uh, up air going to catch. Colin just really hoping to close out this set, this stock here. One there's whiff. Oh, that could have been an up smash for some damage. And catches the roll from ledge with an F smash. And Colin gonna finally slay this nest. Jesus. Needed that to happen way earlier. This nest takes 11 stocks off our game two here. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is a. Uh... Mm, they left. I'm not sure what that happened. They might have another switch joining or something. And Colin got his work cut out for him if he wants to uh, make it through this. Bird joins. Not sure who they're throwing in here. Ready? Looks like we're staying on Smashville. And Kirby gonna be the load in.
Collins got two stocks to SD. Kirby showing off the down airs. And we hop into it. A couple of, a little bit of early percent there for the Kirby. Using that upbeat to zone. A lot of hitboxes. A little bit of damage coming out, but Kirby able to combo break it. Uh oh. Covering the Yoshi recovery angle pretty well there. Uh, misses that F smash though. Colin really looking to. Oh, and that's F smash gonna take it. And that is a quick last game. Um, and that'll do it. Um, yep. Got our booties kick. Not much else to say. That was a total of like six stocks, both of those games for us. So, yeah, real nice, real sweet. <laughs> we'll uh, get them better next week.